Thanks, Tevin. Perhaps the biggest problem that the court is cracking down on is lewd public behavior. A myriad of sexual fetishes have been playing out in the arenas, bathrooms, ticket kiosks, and janitor closets. In addition, arena employees have confiscated over 40 DIY sex swings. Your Honor, there's a case waiting outside. Do you play Venmo? Ah. You don't play Venmo. You use it to send money. Come on. Okay, let's see. You two were caught having sexual relations in the rafters above the stadium. Ashley. David. Hi. Who's this guy? This is Dean. You never return my calls. You just texted that you moved to Portugal. I didn't end up moving. Okay. Walk me through what happened. Well, we were at the game. I invited you to a game like 30 times. You said you couldn't go because you were packing for Portugal. Continue. She started touching me. And then I noticed that the rafters were pretty empty. And when we got up there, she started giving me a hand job. You said you didn't do hand stuff. Hey, you can't talk to her that way. Those are her words, not mine. It's OK, babe. $2,000 fine for lewd behavior. You can't jack up the fine just because I wouldn't go out with you again. At least tell me why you didn't want to see me. You spent our entire date either crying about your ex or complaining about her. And then you made me call her to tell her your mini golf score. Plus, your diet is horrible. I have a bit of a sweet tooth. Every night I have two giant Snickers and a 20 ounce Coke right before bed. Ew, that's gross. How do you sleep? Terrible. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and puke. Come on. No fine. Hey, they were gross. It's fair to say they both had several different strains of herpes. No. She was right. I gotta work on me. Tonight, no sweets, just a big bag of Cheetos and a tall glass of Mountain Dew to get me to bed. I think you're missing the bigger point about your emotional life. I'm good. Stop sending me money. 